Hey guys, thought I'd do another helicoil video. Now I did one before I stripped, excuse me, wasn't me, the bolts were already stripped when taking out a stainless steel bolt out of an aluminum body. In, in, the, in my case it was a Brembo, a Subaru Brembo uh, caliper, the ears. The, the ears of the caliper, one of those stripped um, but and I managed to fix it with a helicoil now what's a helicoil? this is a helicoil, you have different sizes like these guys here All right, got a uh, total of four sizes so far so this is a kit it consists of the actual oops, helicoils this tool to grab it by this little tab here and screw it in once the hole is ready. This is a useless tool to knock this little tab off, which I don't use, I use just pliers. An actual tab, which says, over here it says M8 by 1.25, but in it actually is an M10 by 1.25. That's the thread size. So this thread is the actual 8 by 125. As you can see, this tap is bigger. It's as big as, well, slightly bigger than this drill bit that came with the kit in this nice bag by XT Auto from Amazon. So this is one of those bolts that connect the intake manifold to the cylinder head. And that goes right in these holes there. Actually, that's the TGV for those familiar with Subarus. Anyways, these long ones go through here and these two are stripped. This is a good hole. As you can see, it easily goes in and out all the way but these two the two in the middle well this one still goes in this is what i uh, kind of want to well and now it stops i'm sure it's going to go in can go in deeper but it's kind of stopped in the middle but these threads are actually coming out and this is this one is just shut that's it The way what I've noticed is uh, I was ready to put the intake on and I started to go, you know, put the bolts in and this would just stop midway. And when I took this out, it came out with the threads out of the hole. There you go, aluminum. So that's the kit, M8 by 125, thread size, or a tap. That's the size, but in actuality it's 10 by one two five so if you already have a 10 you can use that tab you need to buy the kit i bought the kit for the heli coils it's cheap it was 15 or 16 dollars uh, i bought it really for this bit which i don't have and the heli coils obviously so this is the car i've been working on for i don't know two weeks now or so waiting on parts you know the usual had a lot of issues vacuum leak leaks from the PCV system, from the intake, uh, on the bottom of the TGV by the cylinder head, which the previous mother used these spacers. These kind of separate the heads, the cylinder heads and the intake manifold and uh, creates a kind of a gap for heat. So no heat, no no heat, no heat gets transferred to the intake from the head to the intake, and had a bunch of leaks. I mean this this part of the engine was covered in oil, just black. It was black. All this was wet from power steering uh, leak, fluid leak. This hose was leaking. The reservoir power steering was leaking. Man, I got a list. That's the intake there. Uh, where's the list? This is the list, guys. And this a lot. Anyway, so since this is a bit more touchy, it's on the cylinder head, you know, gotta be careful. 
take this off here turbo in case no you know no shavings get inside so i'm gonna drill these out tap them install the heli coils maybe double up on the heli coils uh, and that's it and we're gonna look at the result you know this car has been neglected i'm guessing for quite some time it's got a lot of miles 130 40 50 can't remember uh, I mean the intercooler wasn't even attached just hanging in there same thing with the intake the actual filter was resting on top of these ABS lines you can see these are uh, the paint came off the actual lines and uh, the intake now has a hole missing bolts here and there one of the, one of the bolts that holds the starter I, I actually literally took it out with my finger it wasn't tight at all so i mean i don't know i just i you know i work on these cars like that and it's scary you know that uh, cars like this are out there no i should say people that work do this kind of work are out there and just uh, messing these cars up any any car you know it was actually when i took the Inner, inner cooler off because that angled pipe this was actually the best mud this pipe because the diameter outside diameter of the turbo is smaller slightly by a few millimeters than uh, the inlet of the intercooler but this angled pipe it's you know same size on both sides so it would not fit nicely on the inner cooler, but it's, as you can see, it's, it's too big, a little bit, too big, maybe a, I'd say an eighth of an inch, two millimeters or so, um, by the, on the turbo. This guy, <laughs> he uh, used electrical tape around the, uh, the turbo, it just hurts me, you know, telling you even this story. Uh, so this would stay in place, right? Okay, so when I went ahead and, and took it out This electrical tape actually was covering half of the outlet I kid you not and as you can see it was kind of ripped apart a little bit here and there so Maybe parts of the tape is inside the inner cooler now. Hopefully it never went into the engine Probably wouldn't, you know, a small piece of electrical tape would probably not damage the, uh, you know, any parts of the combustion chamber there, cylinder walls and stuff like that. But hopefully it didn't make it there. Hopefully it's still in the uh, inner cooler. All right, so first step is to drill this out. I'm going to start with the closest one to me. I need to make sure that I am straight. Then I'm going to drill it straight. I'm going to put it in low speed. Maybe I should put it in high speed. Find my angle. Okay. Okay. I'd say it's looking pretty good. There you go. Nice clean hole. All the way down. Not through. Just all the way down. Alright. I got this little neat tool. For taps. There we go. And this end attaches to this is by Irving Amazon. Ratchet, there you go. If you don't have a tool like this, find the right not size, tiny bit smaller, something like this. Any nut will work. So it's got to be slightly smaller, and this will actually probably work, and uh, just knock this in. 
this is hard steel you're not going to hurt this set it down on a you know hard table whatever and knock it on and you can use uh, in this case a 14 mil socket all right now another crucial step i'm using this ratchet because i can kind of stand it up you know make it straight not mess it up the initial you know what i mean i don't want it to go in an angle this is aluminum after all so this is should be easy okay once uh, in a few threads and keep cutting So now, we got a little issue, as you can see, it's a, it's a bit stuck. I don't want to force it, see how it goes back in very easily. Stuck. Okay, there we go. So don't force it, go back in, go back out, in, out, in, never force it, because if you force it, you're gonna destroy that new thread. Uh, and I, you can use the vacuum. Usually what happens is, if you don't have a vacuum, you know, uh, what you do is you drive it in a little bit, then drive it out, drive it in, drive it out, take it out fully, uh, use compressed air or a vacuum, hopefully, you know, that you, you know, you have it. Or even you can use oil, penetrating oil, whatever, any oil, really. So those particles will stick to the tap. Take it out if you're, you know, a quarter in, quarter inch uh, of an inch in. Take it out, clean the tap off. The particles, the metals, the metal will stick to the tap. Clean that out and uh, go again. Don't build up those metal particles inside a hole because those are gonna get wedged and destroy that new thread. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Hopefully you can see what I see. Too much light. Yeah, this camera is not very good at close-ups. But we got a nice new thread. Which is a 10. M10 by 125. All right, so the instructions say to drive the coils in like that with this tab on the bottom. I'm going to do it the other way. So the tab will be on the top. Hopefully this works. No, probably not going to work. I'm going to find the, uh, the beginning of the thread. No, not going to work. Come on now, come on now, get in there, there we go, alright, so I'm going to try something here, I'm not going to remove that tab on the bottom just yet, I'm going to see if I can double up on the, um, on the coils, alright, just came back from dinner, what the hell was I doing, oh yeah, so I have maybe a thread and a half left now notice I cannot drive this out it's in there once you get it in there you basically have to destroy it to get that heli coil out so as of now I mean it is a you know, tiny bit deeper now it's not flush with the head but uh, this will work so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take a second heli coil and see if I can fit it well I'm sure I, I'll, I'll be able to okay it did come out Let's try this again the plan is to see if I can with both in 
there is a little bit of space in between the two. If I can actually drive in the bolt through the two coils where they meet. I think I have to drive it in all the way so they actually touch. Oh yeah, I have to remove that tab which I forgot. So okay. Going in. There you go. That's it. I can actually see it. That's all the way in. And I'm gonna take small pliers. These actually will not reach in there. These won't either. Alright, let's see if these tweezers will do the trick. Basically I just need to break that last piece off. But I need to make the transition from the top coil to the bottom as smooth as possible. And this is just too flimsy. Alright, I'm going to use this useless tool. See, the instructions actually say just to push it down. Push it down until you break the tab. But obviously that's not working. Maybe I can just use this tool to kind of go back and forth on it. What to do, what to do. Alright, let's see if I can just push the tip of that tab with this pick tool. Do something with it. Come on, break off already. I don't think this is going to work, guys. Because it doesn't want to have a clean break. Okay, I think I got it. No, still there. Why don't you want to break off? So there's even a little cut right here for this. So the idea is to, you know, when you push this down from the inside, this is supposed to just break, but it's not. There we go. No, still in there. Didn't, didn't vacuum it out. And now I have a space, like a tiny amount of thread missing because they're not uh, touching each other. Now I need to drive it in. Actually, I'm going to try the, the bolt. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I'd say it went through both coils. Easy. There you go. So that's why I wanted to use the two coils. Now there are longer coils, but uh, I couldn't just find a, you know, a set or a pack of those longer coils. I don't want to be waiting on this for weeks or whatever. I can still reach the bottom coil, drive it in more. Because that tab is still attached to it. I think that's all the way in. Now I should be able to screw this one in a bit more. Ha! Ah. Check this out. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut the excess off. Man, this is hard steel. It goes way past the black mark, uh, maybe one thread comes out easy, so second time much easier. So, alright, that, that was just, I was just trying to see if it's even possible to fit two coils in one hole. I'm going to do the other, the other one, uh, maybe I can uh, come up with a different way of doing it, easier, faster, because I realized this was uh, kind of long and, uh, you know, time consuming and uh, boring to watch at least but you know you learn something so if i'm gonna come up with a new idea i'm gonna give you an update after guys the second one took no longer than eight minutes i should have showed you the clock before and after but second time obviously things take, take uh, less time there you go all the way in and it comes out. It's a little bit harder uh, once you go in a bit deeper, but that's okay. Nothing a ratchet won't take care of. 
You know, I think I have all the parts to actually install this intake manifold. So I'm going to drop it in, make sure all the bolts go in, and I'm going to show you the result. So these torque down to 18.1 and that's it, voila, no need to panic, get yourself a heli coil, they do work great. Alright guys, so I guess this was just a video to show you that you can use, and I wondered myself, if you can use two heli coils in one hole. Answer is yes you can. Thanks for watching, see you soon.